what's up YouTube? Driving home from work here in the 300ZX with no proper way to mount my camera to anything. This sucks! Okay, guess what? I guess I'm just gonna have to hold it. So, we got some 300ZX uh, problems. And these are always fun. I know you guys might not can hear it right now, but I got a, uh, I think I got a universal joint problem in the drive shaft and run a high risk of slinging the shaft. Dirty, dirty, dirty mine. Slinging the drive shaft out from under the car. So, kind of trucking along here around 60 and a 65, which is still kind of fast for what the problem is. And I've got a terrible misfire still, which I don't know if you guys can hear that. But if you can hear the rumbling behind me, I think that's my mid-shaft carrier bearing. And I think my universal joints may also be out of whack. I'm hoping it's not anything in the rear end. I mean, if it is, I heard they were pretty easy to work on, so I have to video that if that is a problem. But... said you got misfiring cylinders you have a tendency to not have any kind of power whatsoever so it takes a while to get up to where you got to drive at so um do you guys have any suggestions or you know anybody that owns one of these cars uh do some looking for me or do some asking and see if they've had any of these problems and if they had them they've had them fixed how much did it cost to have it done I mean every shop's different I know but just a roundabout estimate would be nice because uh, I really like this car I like it a lot and I put a lot of money into it already and uh, it would suck if I got rid of it just because of something that was simple that seemed like something big uh, this car pretty good you guys take a look around probably already seen it before uh, this uh, is one of those problems I guess also if you guys watch the oil pressure gauge this is another problem I heard that uh, arises from these cars a lot it's a sending unit I think goes bad in them makes it appear you have zero oil pressure which in real life is not good but in my case I think it's just a sensor oil's fine leaks but it's fine and let's see what happens here look at that shit I try to go off and show somebody something and it acts right. Wonderful. This car knows me too well. It knows when I'm going to talk about it. So it acts right. It's ridiculous. Intermittent, inter, I don't know how you say that word, but on and off problems. They fix themselves sometimes. I don't know what, what that word is, but... what we'll call it for now Jesus oh yeah man this rumbling is really really bad might be stopping at a shop see if they got time to look at it before I actually go home I ain't got no money to fix it right now but at least they can tell me where what it is and maybe I can get to it later For all you uh, Z people out there, uh, these are extremely fun cars even when they're running like complete poo. And mine is running even more like poo because my beloved wife put 87 octane in here and it's not running for shit. Hey look, I just got passed by a riced out Dodge Magnum. Kind of looks
looks clean though. I'll give him that. Um, you guys, I'm going to get up off of here and focus on driving more. Oh, there went the oil pressure gauge. Starting to drop. Riddled with problems, but still fun as hell. Uh, you guys take care. Leave a like. Subscribe. Tell me I'm a dumbass. I don't care. Um, if you got any advice on this car, you know anything about this car more than I do already myself, fill me in, please. You guys take care. Stay dirty. And uh, I'm going to try not to drop you on the floorboard. All right, here we go.